Here are the tests on my 2015 Glacier Bay toilet. So originally, I just thought this was a different model, but it is actually a one gallon model. As you can see by the stamp right here on the base, it's a, a one gallon. So that explains the smaller tank. And it is using the original flapper set to the water line. And surprisingly, this mismatched Kohler handle actually works better with the tank lid off. So I'm just gonna leave it in there. But anyway, let's give it a flush and see how it does on tests. Of course the flush is too short, it's a one gallon toilet. So now let's see how it does on a washcloth. It's gonna pass this. I'm gonna to need to add some water to the bowl though, because it's a one gallon toilet. I doubt it could take anything without the bowl to the proper level, so. Anyway, let's see if it'll take a washcloth. Did perfectly. Now let's add some water to the bowl and see if it can take a grocery bag. Honestly, I think it's probably going to take it, and if it doesn't, it's going to be because the flush cuts off too short. Looks clogged. And I can't see down there, it's too bright. So, I'm going to try flushing it again. The nice thing about one gallon toilets is they fill up really fast. Yeah, that looks like it was pretty much just caused by the short flush. So let's add some water into the bowl and then try them both together. I don't have any faith in this toilet. But honestly, why couldn't they have just made these 1.28 gallons instead of those god awful bowl rinse ones like I threw off my deck? If you go check out that video, you'll see how many problems there were with that toilet and why they couldn't have just made these 1.28 gallons and sold them like that, I don't know. But let's see if it can take a washcloth and a grocery bag together. Same problem, I believe. I wonder if it will take it if I don't do anything. Like I think once it stops bubbling, it might just fall the rest of the way out. Or not, I'm not going to wait here all day. Looks like caused by a short flush. Tripped over something there. Did pretty much the same as just the grocery bag alone. So, I'm going to restore this. I'm going to put in a tall flush valve that sits all the way at the bottom and this thing's going to be unstoppable. Unstoppable and Glacier Bay don't go together but I'm going to make them go together. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try a dish towel. I think this is going to pass. Barely, but it did. And once again, why could they not have just made the 1.28 gallon ones like this? This is so much better. It's like the previous generation Aquasource Henshaws before they had the better flush. Seriously, Glacier Bay, why? So, now prepare to be disappointed. I'm gonna try a dirt test. I mean, I thought I'd be disappointed before. I am kind of disappointed that the flush cuts off so soon, but let's see if it can take dirt. I don't think it's gonna do too well.
Well, it did better than I thought it would. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's got stuff for, wait. Okay, I'm gonna give that another flush. If it gets that dirt off the rim, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Okay, so it looks like this thing has pretty awful bull rinse. And it looks like that's also due to the short flush once again. So these probably would have been a pretty solid design on 1.28 gallons. And I'm gonna say this for the third time, but I'm really disappointed in Glacier Bay for not just making these a 1.28 gallon model instead of selling those other ones with no bull rinse. So anyway, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. That's with the handle held down, so that's probably how it's gonna be when it's restored. And I will leave a link in the description to a video of my other 2015 or 2016 Glacier Base so you can see what the 1.28 gallon model looked like at the time. But I can assure you, you will be disappointed and you'll wonder why they did not just make these 1.28 gallons as well. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.